Hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome back to my Rail Route Let's Play. Now, I've been playing along, and I haven't made any changes. At least I don't think I've made any changes. To be honest, I can't remember what we did last time. It's been a little while since I recorded an episode. And overall, I think things are running quite well. I mean, there must be. We've got 1.1 million in the bank. Lots and lots of money. How have I got this money? Did I cheat it in? No, I actually just let the game run. Everything is beautifully automated in the lines that we have so far. Now, one of the questions I got from you guys recently was about this U-turn that I had here at Queen Street. It's like, why even do it? Well, as far as I'm aware, intercity trains do not travel the same speed backwards as they do forwards. Now, if you look here, we've got two little lines on these end cars, and they denote where the engines are. Now, if we try and find an intercity train, I think we might have to speed the game forward. Let's see what, what we've got coming in through here. Hmm, have we got any intercity trains? No intercity trains anytime. Oh, hang on, we, we just missed one. Where is it? I have no idea where it's gone. Let me find one. Okay, we've got one. We've got one. Here it is. It's just come in from Carstairs. And this is the intercity train going to Queen Street. And you may notice that it only has an engine car on the front. So you want these to be always travelling forwards. You don't really want to reverse them. And that is why. What on earth is going on? There we go. So, uh, what are we going to do today? Well, we've got plenty of money. We don't really care about experience because we've got too much and we've unlocked everything. We're just going to expand the network. And I feel like we should start doing things around this Queen Street area. And then make it go maybe all up to and start using the other platforms over here. So, the first thing we're going to do is a bit of shopping. And just purchase all of these bits and bobs around here that we may need. Yeah, that looks good. Maybe we should purchase these up here too. Fantastic. Okay, next up we're going to try and figure out how we're going to put this all together. Now, I think we've got lots of money, so we could probably go with the faster track straight out the box. So let's just upgrade these ones here. Upgrade all the platforms and auto blocks. Wow, we've already spent quite a lot of money wow the money is tumbling we are some big spenders today we might actually run out of money so the idea here is is that we're going to have oh actually we get have to put some auto signals in so it looks like with the line that we're running at we are going westbound on the bottom line so we'd want to go like this no not that one that one back to manual signal please and we're going to go kind of in this way and out that way, which is fine. So I guess we could go just connect that up. Um, I didn't mean to do that. I'm just thinking probably that's fine. Looks okay to me. But then we've got no way to cross over here. So perhaps we can do... Ah, yes, we need a way for those. Do we want them to be able to cross over? No, we, we probably don't need that. Then the easiest thing to do would be just to connect those up like that. But then how do we incorporate this Queen Street one? So I think the idea here is, is that if we're coming through Platform 5 on Queen Street, up towards the top here, we're not going to want to be going back to Springburn, probably. So I think what we'll do... Is we'll just put it up there like that. We'll probably move that signal up a bit. I mean, really, we want it as far to the right as possible, I think. So if we do that, get rid of this, like that, that means we can put a signal on the diagonal, and then that brings it over here. Okay. I mean, until we start getting contracts running on this line, on these lines, it's, it's going to be difficult to see. 
Now here we've got like a standard three-way junction we need to do. Uh, we'll come back to that, I think. And what I was thinking here is, is that we do like... I want to do like a standard sort of... I can't do a standard crossover there because of this, this kink. Um, I mean, I could go up like that and presumably... If I go down here, I can then go like this. Okay, that works. And then we can come behind the back of the coach house and come into platform one and two. At the moment, that is a dead end. We could have this then to go on to Easter house, which we would need to upgrade. And... I don't know how that would... Oh, actually, I've just seen something. So if we come out of the station here and go one up there and one to here, then we can put... No, that doesn't work either. Okay, we'll just have it as a single track. Oh, I didn't mean to delete that. Oh, what was it? Uh, it was 25 grand, so it was probably a routing sensor. Oh! Oh my goodness. Come back, game. There we go. The game has been updated, and now when we uh, make changes um, to signals, uh, sorry, uh, well, make changes to track and anything, and there's an issue, the routing sensors and the um, platform sensors and so forth have this little warning symbol. Now, this is a feature that I knew was coming. It's a feature that myself and other people have asked for, and when I asked the developer about it, they were like, yeah, uh, we're always going to put this feature in, don't worry, it's coming. And here it is, this is fantastic. So now we know when a routing sensor or something along those lines is not set up right. So f I've got to redo this routing sensor, so we need to add to the routing table that if we're going to Bridgeton, we need to come down here. Uh, if we're going to... Uh, can we get to Newton from there? Yeah, if we're going to Newton, we need to just go straight down to Newton. And if we're going to Glasgow, then we need to take that tunnel to here. There we go. That should fix that one. Now, these departure sensors are broken. So, like, it's any track. Just needs to go here. And... I think we can probably just get rid of, yeah, we'll get rid of them. So others go to here. This one's still complaining. So let's delete them and just go like that. There we go. Everything's cool. So I think that will be okay. We'll need our auto signals over here. So uh, signals for going in will come in this way and out that way. It might be that we don't do any turning around. We certainly can't get to the coach house from there. Um, can we move the coach house, the coach yard? So if I get... See, I can't get rid of that because there's trains inside. Oh, we'll leave it there. Right, how are we going to do these ones? How are we going to do these ones? Well, it looks like we're going to have like a section of track here like this. And I guess then that can come... Oh, like that. That makes sense to me. Okay. Then ideally, these... Oh, I didn't mean to delete that. These ones need to come out, and then they can come down and across. And we can do the same here. Okay, that works beautiful. The only thing is that then we'll need um, an auto signal on these ones to exit. And then we'll need an entrance one here with an arrival sensor there. We'll definitely need an arrival sensor there. And then these ones also need to be auto signals. Completely forgot about that. There we go, not that one. And we're starting to lo run low on funds. We are spending a lot though. Uh, and then we may need a signal here and route either way. We're going to need departure sensors on these two platforms as well as those two and probably both of them when he's getting tight are we going to be able to do it i don't know 
Um, and then I guess we could just use these auto blocks and root root around. So, see, if this was open TTD, I'd be sat here saying, if if the track's not going to get used that much and it's not going to be that busy, this would be fine. But if it is going to get busy, don't cross the streams like this. So I think what we'll do, because we've, we've spent over a million, we'll start like this and see how it goes. So we're going to need a routing sensor. Let's put one there. And then we're going to need probably some more routing sensors. Yeah, we're going to need a routing sensor there and a routing sensor there. But apart from that, and that one's just going to be... We might need a sensor here. We'll see how it goes. I think that's pretty done. So let's get some of these sensors sorted out. We'll do all the routing ones first. So what we'll do is we'll say, for this signal, if you are going to... Uh, Steps, oh, S-T-E, steep, 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 pass, no idea. If you're going up north, uh, then go to this signal. Otherwise, go straight on. And here, we do the same. With this signal, if you, uh, we'll do a routing table and say, if you're coming up here, you want to route to that signal. Otherwise, go straight on. That way, any train that's passing through this section can use this piece of track, and all we've had to do is route one thing. Then we just need to select this arrival sensor. That's that bit done. Now, this routing sensor needs to be a little bit more specific. I guess we need to say, if you are going to uh, come Nord, we want to go this way, or if you're going to Easter House, then you want to come this way. If you are going anywhere else, go the other way. And there we go, I think. Wow. We've got next to no money left compared to what it was just like. But the network has not been disrupted in any sort of way. I think everything's okay. Let's see what contracts we've got. So, Bridgeton to Glasgow Central. Well, I don't really fancy doing that right now especially seeing as it's a, it terminates at Glasgow Central and just to show it terminates you see it's got a little tiny symbol of a coach yard there now oh, also they fix the scrolling on this so in the, uh, you, you scroll with your scroll wheel it goes up and down the list where before it used to scroll along the different places that it could go to so I don't want to build any coach yards just now I'm not really interested in any, I was going to say in any one-off freights, but we could potentially do some of them. Um, we're not going to build a coach yard at Motherwell anytime soon. We're not going to do any one-offs. I'm interested in regular work. And we've got... We've got one more train which can come from Bridgeton into Cumberland. Oh, Platform 4 is very busy. What we've got left on the timetable at Platt... Oh, okay. So we have got a nice little gap at the Bridgeton timetable at 15.40. And then that's probably a one-minute stop, maybe a one-minute to travel. So at 15.40, there is room on Platform 4. We could accept that. So we will do it, I think. How much is it for? Um, seven grand, actually. That's not too bad. Um, we're not going to build a, a coach house at Newton yet. We might try and build one in the future. And, and thank you very much to everybody who's been giving suggestions um, about different ways that I could connect different things in. I mean, this connection at Easter House, I've just done it like that for now. I'll probably change it when we want to actually come to use it. 
And getting a coach yard in at Newton is possible. It's just it's not you can't get the automation behind it because you need you need a space for the signal and you need a space for the sensor as well. So we could potentially do that. So uh, no coach yard at Newton for now. This Glasgow Central one's only three grand, so we'll get rid of that. And then this commuter one at Bridgeton, we need to wait until about 1540 to get it going. We can always adjust the contract later. Absolutely fantastic. There we go. Um, overall, things are going quite smoothly. We can see here that um, our intercity train has just gone through Glasgow Central. It did turn around at Queen Street. It's going through an auto block now. It's already selected its route through to Newton, which is brilliant. We've got a little bit of a wait here because we've got a train in the way now, but it's not much of one. So maybe we need to make sure about the spacing of this intercity train. But I was kind of thinking about these intercity services and so forth. But here, here's the big difference. We've got an extra platform at Wifflet, which allows the intercity train to come through, even though uh, the commuter train is ahead of it. Fantastic. And off it goes. 15 grand. This is where the money's coming from. So uh, one of the things I did do, and I can't remember if I did it between episodes or not, is I added these two signals here um, just to have an extra stop gap along this line of being able to have more trains going down it. Okay, so overall I think we're all right. We've got a slight surplus at the coach yard there by the looks of it. We got some numbers in. So we've got commuter Urban and intercity. Hang on a minute. Ha whoa, whoa, whoa. Urban? When did I not read the patch notes for that? I'm usually quite good at reading patch notes. What's going on? Create contract. Type. Okay, so we can only commute, create commute contracts. Okay, let's get over to the system upgrades. Ooh, look at this. Urban transit contracts. Urban transit contracts start appearing um, in the offered contracts. Trains circulate inside the metropolitan area represented by the map until they return to the station of origin. Profit per train is based on the number of stations in their schedule and their average speed between stops. Wow. A coach yard is required to, to dispatch an urban transit train. Ooh. Well, we can certainly take that upgrade. Let's just check to see if there's any more upgrades. So nothing in the automation, nothing in the controls, and nothing in the interface. So we've got a new type of train and some good new things on the uh, on the interface. We can now configure urban trains, commuter and intercity trains and their uh, auto dispatch times from the coach yards. That was brilliant. That is absolutely fantastic. Okay, so maybe next time we'll 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 have a go with some urban trains. That'll be brilliant. Uh, but for now, let's get this new train going keep an eye out on the contracts because even though we've built this new line today there's nothing traveling on it and that's not my fault we just need to wait for a good contract to come in that uses that line so let's have a look at the yeah we've got a few minutes yet until we come along to get this train out and dispatched but that's not a problem uh, the train before the train before our train is just leaving the station at platform three we haven't got any new contracts in just yet, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. I think this here, this area of having five maximum contracts, that would be something that could be a candidate for an unlock. So, for example, you 
uh, maybe you only can have three at once, then you unlock it and you can unlock it maybe up to seven or something like that. Um, right, uh, we've got a one-off freight, we're not interested in one-off freight, one-off intercity, not interested in that. We've got a commuter train here between Ashfield and Queen Street. Uh, where's Ashfield? Oh, it's this one, Ashfield and Queen Street, okay. Four grand. I'm, I'm not going to accept that. That doesn't feel like a good deal. It doesn't. It would be nice to get a service going between those two. And we could quite easily do that with a commuter train because it would probably come from platform one uh, down this line through this auto block into platform four. No, it would come into platform three and then back out platform three. Um, the, the platform that it goes in is determined by the direction it leaves. So in this case, our train would want to leave on either platform 3, 2 or 1 because that's where the auto signals are. Okay, we're coming up to about the right time. So we're going to accept this contract here. And we're going to dispatch it on platform... We're going to accept it, not dispatch it, accept on platform 3. There we go. Now we did get a new contract in, so let's check that. Carstairs, yep. Motherwell, Wifflet. Well, at the moment, we actually haven't got a route where we can do that contract. And I don't really feel like completely rebuilding Motherwell just for one contract. It is eight grand, which is not too bad. It's an intercity, though. So it's... it's got a high expectation of speed now we need to make sure that we get in these signals all sorted for this train and it wants to go platform four I'm not going to accept that intercity because it doesn't fit in with our rail network there we go right then let's uh, let's just uh, move things on a little bit five times speed would be better than one time speed it will take quite a while for a train to get anywhere on one time speed it does mean our coach yard at Cumberland is now unbalanced but that's not a problem we can we can work something out now I'm just looking here about how I could potentially upgrade this railway line so that we can link in Easter house from platform three or four and with this sensor being where it is, I don't think we can do it. I don't think we can. We, we can't just put a piece of track across there. Uh, we could potentially put a tr piece of track across there, which actually would be a good way to get the trains in. But that sensor's in the way. Ooh, 76%. That's a little bit down on what I was expecting. But we'll accept it anyway. And we will check out its contract. And it has got one next due at 16.39. And we'll have a look at the timetable. Yeah, I think we give it an extra minute there that we don't need. Um, I don't know. Yeah, let's lock, knock the arrival time down by a minute. There we go. Now we get the full seven grand, don't we? Next, uh, next due, contract, just timetable. Yep, deal. We'll have that. I suppose, what is the negative on that? Contracts, active contracts. Um, what is the... Uh, here we go, here we go. Let's have a look at the contract. Where's the thing if you don't get it right? Oh, here we go. Do you click on it? Delay penalisation is 200 per minute. So the maximum we're going to be late is one minute. So we're going to lose 200, but we gained 2,000 by committing to that extra minute. For me, that's a win, even if it's late every time. Um, okay. So it wants us to build a coach yard at Queen Street... I would say there's probably not a... Ch well, I don't know, actually. Uh, 
depends where uh, the Queen Street coach yard. Now, see, that counts as Patrick. See, that's Queen Street. Sensor signal junction. We might actually be able to get one in there. How much money have we got? Okay, let's try it. And yes, yes, it fits. Uh, routing arrival sensor. There we go. We just need to say to this arrival sensor, you use this signal for this station. The only problem here is, is that we haven't got many uh, track options. And I don't think we can give many track options. So we are going to have to come in to platform 2 or 1 from the coach yard. I guess really we then probably need an auto signal on both ends of platform two and we use platform two as a coach yard in and out dispatcher with an option of going into platform one to loop round to five and out if we need to there we go folks see that's where it is you build your railway line as a basic sort of network like i've done over here you put the key bits of routing in and automation and as you get your contracts and understand the flow of what's going on that's where you make the improvements Right then, well, we're going to leave it there for now. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Again, keep your comments coming in. I do read them. They are fantastic. And if you want to support the the, uh, the channel and the series, you can do. Head out to masterhellish.net and have a look at Viewer Plus. It's, uh, it's how we fund things around here. And uh, thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this and you want to see other things like this, do consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I'll see you soon. Take care for now. Goodbye.